Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and 2020 has been just an insane, crazy year. But ladies and gentlemen, we do have one glimmering hope that 2020 has been saved, and it's a report coming from Esports Observer that Hex has acquired the Los Angeles spot in the CDL League, which was previously held by the Los Angeles Immortals, or the LA Optic, and originally they were sold to the Immortals by Optic's parent company Infinite back in last year, 2019. But now the report states that Hex will be in control of all things and every asset and resource available under the Optic umbrella, which is absolutely huge. So I guess that means if this does pass the CDL League's approval, then Hex can change the Huntsman brand back to Optic or possibly leave the Huntsman organization and run in the LA CDL spot. But really at this point, it's kind of unknown what's going to be happening next if this does pass the approval. But either way, I'm sure the Optic brand and Hex are going to be synonymous with each other once again. Now, the Chicago Huntsmen are still under NRG, so I'm sure they got to have some say in the name of the branding for Chicago. But I mean, at the end of the day, the Optic brand and name is just so much more bigger compared to the Huntsmen. Like everyone in the Call of Duty scene, no Optic, so it would really be foolish to not want to agree and rename your organization to Optic. Obviously, Hex can run two CDL orgs, so what he could possibly do is sell that LA spot maybe to somebody like Nadeshot, for example. But like I said, what's going to be happening next is kind of unknown right now. But I think the main reason why Hex decided to basically flex on everybody and sign a check for a multi-million dollar deal is because of the love he has for the Optic name. Like, honestly, the Immortals haven't ran the Optic organization that well. Hex probably didn't want to see that go down any longer, and he wanted to reacquire the name. Now, like I said, he could sell the LA spot to somebody like Nadeshot, which is what a lot of people are saying right now on Twitter. But I believe a few months ago, back when the CDL League had just kicked off, Nadeshot said something along the lines of that buying a spot right now in the league is just not a good deal right now. Obviously, things can change, but I personally feel the Call of Duty League is going to be something huge in the next couple of years, especially seeing the direction that Call of Duty is heading towards right now. But guys, at some point next year, we should hopefully see Optic and Hex back together once again. Now, I wanted to talk about something else related to Call of Duty. Um, it's kind of, you know, the opposite of what we were talking about earlier. But it's regarding anti-cheating within a Modern Warfare and Warzone. And yesterday, Infinity Ward came out with a tweet and said, Since launch, the team has banned over 200,000 accounts for cheating across Warzone and Modern Warfare, including a new wave this week. We are continuing to deploy additional security updates and added back in enforcement tools, zero tolerance for cheating. Now, there are a lot of people that have tweeted at me and even posted comments in my videos saying that they have been banned for absolutely no reason. So I don't know what the heck is going on with that, but I just know there has been a large number of people reporting that they've been banned for no reason. There's replies to this Infinity War tweet stating the same thing too. And I wish I had more information to share about this. I really, really do, but I, I just don't at this time right now. I just hope by next year, we can get a new anti-cheating system that can automatically detect those with installed programs to cheat. Um, but if you guys want to go look at more of my videos where I discuss this subject, please feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys about this because the cheating in Warzone is just so crazy right now. And I have a lot of love for Warzone. I don't want to see the game lose its popularity because of how many hackers there are inside of Warzone right now. And again, hopefully we can get a better anti-cheating system come next year. But guys, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. And what are your thoughts about Optic? And thanks for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.